What's up everybody and welcome back to more Let's Play Jurassic World. So, I have something to show you all really quickly. Um, well, I mean, some of you will probably know exactly what's happening right now. But, essentially, last episode we were using a lot of concrete. And I discovered that you could actually get... You, to make concrete, you need to smelt gravel. And we didn't really have all that much gravel, because... Our really good shovel has Fortune 3, which is really good, except when trying to get gravel, because Fortune 3 just gives you flint all the time. So, I don't have, I don't want to devote 27 or 30 levels, rather, to getting some more gravel, so I came up with a better idea. We discovered that crushers, if you put cobblestone in crushers, you actually get gravel. And we have way too much cobblestone, we have like, literally, chest, double chest full of it. So, I made this little system down here. Essentially, you put cobblestone in this chest, as you can see right there, and then this gets sucked into the crusher right here, which is working very, very hard, and turning that all into gravel, which gets pumped into this chest, which then gets pumped into a little energized smelter, which I actually did create, and put down here, which then puts the concrete in this chest. So, we have essentially created an asphalt factory in the basement of our home. So obviously, while this is going on, we can't smelt regular mineral or regular ores, but I don't think we need to do that right now. I don't even think we don't even have that much chlorine on us right now. Yeah, we're we're only have 1364 chlorine, so not too worried about that. We uh we should be fine in that regard. So uh, yeah, all around, I'm pretty happy with how the system is working, and um, we are creating quite a bit of concrete. But before we get any further, because there's a lot I want to do in this episode today, and I, I am very pressed for time, because uh, if you do not know, I am actually pre-recording this, which uh, is going to make this next part kind of awkward. Hello, Diamond and friends. But um, let's see how many likes we got. This is obviously isn't real, because I'm pre-recording this, but I'm going to guesstimate that we got 30 likes, because that's what you guys have been getting on just about every single episode, and um, I'm not going to actually do anything with this. If you don't know how to do this, essentially, or how I get these bronze coins, essentially, for every 10 likes you get, I do get one bronze coins, one bronze coin, and you guys have been hitting 30 likes pretty often on that, so big props to you guys. Obviously, I'm away right now. As I said, I'm pre-recording all this, so uh, when I get back, we'll actually do some stuff with those bronze coins. And if you guys hit more likes, so if you get more than 30 likes on this episode, I'm going to give you a big prize. If we could get it, like, I am I gave myself 12 bronze coins in total, because next episode, I have one more to pre-record. I did give myself 12 bronze coins. So if, let's say we actually get... 15 bronze coins i think i'm gonna have a pretty big reward for you guys so we'll see what that's gonna be next time we're just making sure this thing's working well and i'm gonna grab the uh, three stacks see it's almost already made another stack as you can see in just the time that we did it so let me actually sort that because that's gonna bother me otherwise and so uh yeah it is pretty freaking quick uh i'm pretty happy with how that turned out or how it's turning out but what i do want to do today is um i think i want to go on to create some new exhibits so, if you guys have been watching the past few episodes, you should know that we have been creating some uh, some pretty cool exhibits, in my opinion. We created the herbivore exhibit, but I always said I do want to create a, um, a not herbivore exhibit, a uh, carnivore exhibit. And I wanted to create a situation where we could have a Tyrannosaurus Rex and a Spinosaurus fight one another. Well... This is that position. I want to create this little exhibit right here and actually allow the two to fight. So, as you can see, I did create this thing. And what this is, is a big hole down. I did mine this all out. And it's essentially a big hole down. And I think I want to create the carnivore exhibit on this side of things. So, we'll have the this exhibit over here. And I want to create the other exhibit over there. So, I think I want to have a secret research lab under everything. So, we could kind of... Uh, have a little place for the dinosaurs to mate, and I have a few plans I do want to do with that exhibit. It's going to be a little bit more, um, there's going to be a little bit more to it than that. But before we get to that, I do want to place down a few more eggs. I think I'm just going to place down the rest of these eggs right here. And Dinococcus are not carnivores, right? If they are, I'm going to have to come back and kill them, but I'm like 88.9% sure they are not. So we're going to place those down and let them start going. I'm going to place the Tyrion on this top layer here, so we need one more layer of Tyrion to like kind of top off our little uh, exhibit here, and I think I'm actually going to place that right now, and we're just going to do a once around on here, and again, uh, as you guys did say, I have been posting all of the building of the exhibits, because I think you guys will kind of enjoy it, you guys really have enjoyed stuff like this in the, my past series when I do this, so obviously, again, I can't gauge your feedback, because I am away on vacation, and I had to pre-record all of these, but uh, I certainly hope you do enjoy this parts, because obviously, in the future, if you 
ended up hating all this. I can cut it out in future episodes. This one, well, I can't. And the next one, I can't because, again, I pre-recorded it. But, um, I don't know. If you guys don't want to see this building of hearts, I can get rid of it. But I feel like, I don't know, it kind of adds to the fun and everything. And we kind of just get to, uh, you're just kind of part of the atmosphere. You don't get to just get the cut where it's like, all right, now we have a fully grown dinosaur. All right, now we have a fully built exhibit. That kind of takes the fun out of it. Seeing me actually sit here and uh, build through it all, I think actually adds an extra li level of fun. We'll actually leave that one there. Oh, it's an easter egg and uh we'll continue around this way and i don't actually have any idea as to how i'm gonna build what i want to build i'm gonna need to craft some pistons so i guess i should explain my idea with you right now so there's a few things i do want to do with this next thing first and foremost there's going to be two separate exhibits one's going to be for the spinosauruses and one's going to be for the tyrannosaurus rex because obviously i want these two dudes to fight each other and uh do all that jazz but I also want to have a little underground research route so we could uh, enter each exhibit from the underground and maybe even have a way to pull a dinosaur down into the underground. So uh, that, I don't know how I want to do that exactly, but that is what I want to do. And I think I actually, there needs to be dividers in this, but I think I could add that at a later time. But uh, yeah, there definitely is way too much glass. I, I think I should get a fortune pickaxe so I could get this glass back before I do that. But um yeah, so we're going to have like one side over there, one side over there, and then we'll, we have to have some kind of door mechanism in the middle to do that. But I would also, again, like to have two underground mini exhibits, and then uh, we could try and push the dinosaurs back up and something like that. I would also like to have a pig pen. So inside the exhibit, I want to have a little pen that's full of pigs, or actually rather cows, because we have quite a few cows. Actually, let's go breed the cows right now, because uh, they're probably getting pretty, pretty hungry. So let's go to our home. And uh, I do want to make sure we have tons of cows for this. But essentially, what I want to do is have a little pen. If you guys do watch the Jurassic Park movies, you know how they push up a, uh, a goat and then a dinosaur comes and eats it? I want to make that. So I don't know how I'm going to do that. I have an idea, but I, I don't exactly know. Oh, yeah, I got some glass, too, because I noticed we were running really, really low. And um, that's honestly probably not even going to be close to enough. But that's a Wait. Actually, now that you say that, sand... Uh, recipe, shapeless crafting, cracked sand. Okay, that's not really helpful. Crusher. <gasps> oh, so if I put sand in the crusher, if I put sandstone in the crusher, you get two sand. Oh, we're going to have to do that. <gasps> this crusher is going to be going to town, guys, because I have a ton of sandstone I have to put in, or I can put in. And that'll actually yield us quite a bit of glass. So let's actually grab all the sandstone that we've been hoarding all this time. Oh, wow. That's actually really cool. Because I've been saying all this time, I have so much sandstone that I haven't been unable to make into sand purely because um, we just don't have that much. But yeah, so this should actually give us... This should be a lot, actually. So I think actually one of the... Yeah, this is actually regular sand. So let's smelt this up here. Um... But yeah, so let's go teleport back to the lab really quickly. Uh, I think I may have some more, a little bit more down here. Shouldn't be too much more though. And oh, this is what I was looking for. So let's grab this. Let's grab some of that. And we're going to go breed our cows. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish this all uh, before I, f I, I leave on vacation. I, I don't know. I, I, I feel like I'm not going to be able to because we're trying to take on a lot. And we don't have all that much time to do it. But I could try. I mean, there's there's no hurt in trying. If anything, I'm going to try and get everything set up. And then maybe when I come back, we'll start doing the fun stuff, which is actually creating it all. So, yeah, I mean, let's see. Look at this. Look how much concrete we're getting from this. I'm actually probably going to have to add another chest, huh? Oh, yeah, I don't, totally. I'm going to need another chest. Let's do that now. Do I have? Yeah, I do have wood on me because I don't want this to uh, bottleneck while I'm not around and not be able to fix it. But um, yeah, so what I want to do down here really quickly, uh, now that we got that all set up over there, is I kind of want to create a little pathway so we could get there quickly, because uh, obviously right now there's not a super fast way, and it looks like there's some creepers spawning down here, so we're going to try and take care of that really quick. And bye, creeper! No, you're not gonna you're not going to blow up. We're going to finish them off with our godly swords. Those, are, those swords are much better. So it looks like there needs to be a few more torches down here because some creepers are obviously spawning and that is not ideal. So what I think I want to do is I think I'm going to have to mine these out. Um, yeah, so this is kind of a, a rough idea of where the area is. And I think I think I'm going to create uh, two separate exhibits. So I think I'm going to have the pig exhibit here, and it'll kind of be in the middle, and then we could have two separate, and okay, this guy's pissing me off, so let's kill him. He was actually been here since the last episode, and uh, not in the mood for battling him. 
but or not in the mood for having him sit there so let's kill him but as i was saying i think we're gonna have a spinosaurus under root here we'll have a pig under root here and then we'll have the tyrannosaurus rex under root here or the tyrannosaurus rex and spinosaurus ones can be flip-flopped or whatever and let's actually oh it's raining oh no are these guys not going to be warm enough let's place some torches down just in case oh it looks like the dinococcus did spawn are you a carnivore or a herbivore oh you're oh i'm sorry i mean i could actually seal them off if i need to Where's the other one? What's their, uh, what's their ordering? Bone. Oh, I can very simply seal them off, actually. I think we'd have to do that. Um. Oh, the eggs can't spawn here. Oh, because there's a tree above them. So let's try and push that out of the way. Um. Yeah, I'll try and push the... Yeah, well, I can pick them up, but uh, let's go grab a bone really quickly. Uh, I imagine I have... There's got to be a skeleton around here somewhere, so let's go kill one. And skeletons! Okay, apparently no skeletons. The one time I need a bone, I don't I always have them on me from uh, freaking skeletons. And the one time I need one, don't have one on me. Why is that chest there? I don't know. I forget. I feel like there's a reason, but I'm actually really happy about this because I had so much cobblestone and I was literally having to go into creative to delete it because I, I didn't know what to do with it all but uh this is actually pretty cool because now i have a, a genuine use for it all so as you can see this is why i wanted to do all the mechanism first mechanism stuff first i know a lot of you guys are probably like eh, i don't want to see tech stuff i don't want to see dinosaurs well the tech stuff pays off guys tech stuff pays off so uh did you kill them where did the dinococcus go yes i know the egg can't spawn there um dinococcus come back Wait, it's not letting me command him. Uh-oh. Do I not own them? Because I was too far away. Untamed. Oh, crap. Well, sorry, man. All right, where's the other one? Because we can't have carnivores in the herb. I knew that. I I knew that was... Like, I, I was going to look it up. I got lazy and didn't, and um, it's my fault. So I apologize for that. And we have to go find the other Dinococcus, though, because we don't want this guy killing everything. So let's actually... Oh, God, no, no. If I would have properly right-clicked that, it would have actually killed them. So, yeah. Um, I think actually almost all these dinosaurs will, like, win in a fight, though. So well, let's make sure they spawn. If they do, they will spawn in just a moment. So, dude... Oh, that one did. And the eggs have hatched, so there you go. You get some... Where did the Dinococcus go, though? That's that's the real question. It was so tiny that I can't really uh, can't really feel it. Let's actually feed these guys. And we'll let them heal up some HP. As you could tell, they are um, they are quite quite hungry, fellers. Um, you're hungry, too, but you didn't get any HP or anything. So where did that Dinococcus go? I'm kind of worried now. Uh, fortunately, it doesn't look like there's any mobs spawning in here, which I have yet to actually test. I've just... I, I've been kind of... I hear noises. Where the hell did it go? How am I going to get... How am I going to figure this out? Oh, no. It, because if it starts to get older, it'll, like, kill things. And that's not good. We can't have that. Um... So we still have the that. We have those guys over there. Dinococcus, Dinococcus. Wait, let's do this. Let's do this. We'll do a little overview scan. I mean, it's small, but it's not that small. We should still be able to see it. Um, oh, there it is. Thank you. Okay. Sorry, Dinococcus. Goodbye. I mean, there's probably another way. I probably could have tamed them, but honestly, I don't want to have to... I don't want to have to think about that. I want this just to be... Uh, Nice and done. For a second, those are dinosaurs. I was like, what the hell? I, I just kind of want this to be, uh, you know, not done, but I want this to start getting underway. I want our next project to start and begin because, uh, I don't know, I, we don't have tons of time to spend on this. So what I'm going to do now is try and breed all these cows. Hello, cows. And I think what I'm going to do, oh, that's a cool, oh, yeah, the Ash Ketchum hat. One of the cows does have an Ash Ketchum hat. So what I think I'm actually going to do here is uh, I'm going to have to set up an auto breeder. What the hell is going on back there? I don't know. I'm a little sketched out from that one. Um, so those two will make love. Let's see. Did I get them all? I think I did. Actually, it looks like I did. I did a pretty good job there, huh? 
So uh, I rarely get them all in one go like that, but it looks like this time I did. Um, let's take this out so I can pick up all the experience. Well, that looks like it is good. So we're going to have to transport those cows over to underground, which is going to be a little bit of a pain in the butt, but it won't be too difficult. This is The vanilla Minecraft mobs are pretty easy to control, so it's actually really hard to see in this, in this rain right now. But So, as I was saying before, I think I'm going to create this over here, and I'm trying to figure out how exactly I want to go about doing this. So let's fly up a little bit. And I think what I want to do, let's actually place a torch down because I'm not in the mood for mob fighting right here. And, oh, it's raining, so it's all foggy down here. Uh, um, so, obviously, I think I'm just going to make, like, a big staircase up here. And I, because there's no reason for it to be this deep. I mean, it can be kind of, it's going to be deeper, but not that much deeper. Because I am going to have to create a mechanism for getting these guys out of the ground. So, I mean, honestly, if I could just do this right here, that, that's not a horrible height. If I just do it on like this layer, so we'll have three dirt above me, two dirt. Yeah, we'll have two blocks above me, and that's that's not horrible. So let's try and break this really quickly. And I, I honestly think this is fine. Oh, oh crap! <laughs> I I did not mean to do that. Um, I kind of want to mine these normally because I will get that fossil there. So I I do want those. So. Oh no! Wait, I did that wrong. Uh, so we have to mine this one. Um. Well, we can buy one more of these. So, yeah, we want we want this layer right here. And I could easily get rid of all this with our crap shovel that I always have to... I'm always going to probably complain about until I make a new one. And I'm sure I won't make a new one for a long time because that's how the world goes around. And I think this is a good layer. Oh, it looks we got some more gravel. We've been looking for you. That sounds really creepy. <laughs> so... Yeah, I think this is good. Let's finish that one off. And so essentially how I'm thinking this is going to work, I'm going to have to make some pistons to test this out. But essentially, um, do I have any pistons? I don't. Let's do that actually because I don't. Yeah, I need sticky pistons for that too, to like try and test that. So uh, let's get some redstone and I have a full inventory, of course. Uh, well, we're not really placing anything right now, so we can place all this stuff in here. All these uh, building blocks. Uh, oh, that's what this chest was for. <laughs> Actually, yeah, that's exactly why I made this. Uh, let's get the glass out of there and everything else we kind of need right now. So let's grab some redstone. And I'm going to need some iron, too. I actually don't know how to make this. So there better be a better, a cool way to make a sticky piston. What's that, an engine piston? Uh, so redstone, wood, and that. So let's grab the rest of the redstone. I really don't have that much redstone. I need to uh, go get some more um, wood and iron. So let's grab some iron out of here. Let's grab the smaller stack too because we'll use it. So I'll just create two sticky pistons for the time being to uh, show you guys how this should work. And where's the rest? There. So recipe. Oh, I only need, I don't, yeah, what am I doing with this iron? So let's just hit the question mark. No one ever, I feel like that's a very common thing for people to not know how to make pistons. Like I always encounter that problem myself and I always hear other people talking about it. Like I have no, the crafting recipes, I don't know. Pistons. I always have to look it up and uh, yeah, I don't know. It's a, it's a tricky one. So we can use some slime and fortunately do that slime stuff being over there. We do have some of this stuff right there because uh, otherwise I never have slime balls just lying around because I don't typically hang out by slimes. So we'll grab those. I do want to make a lever as well. I think there's some stone in here. There is. I don't know how I knew that. I just knew it. So let's do that. And we'll place that there. I think it's the other way around actually. Whoops. Or is it cobblestone maybe? Oh, it is. And yeah, so we'll grab all that. And I'll try and show you exactly what I want to do here. So, uh, nope, they're going to set the time today. I don't think it's that big of a deal. I'll do it. Set time, set day, because I don't like it. Toggle down, fall, even though I am, oh, there's space. Toggle down, fall. Um, okay. So let's go run back over to here, and I'll try and give you a decent idea as to what I kind of want to do with this. And yeah, I mean, I'm kind of coming to the realization that I don't think this is, did I? Oh yeah, I, I toggled the downfall back on after he turned it off. So this guy's not dying as fast as I would like him to. So we're gonna just set him on fire there. And oh, he dropped a he dropped an OP plate, trust plate. I don't think I'm gonna use it though. 
so let's travel back down here so none of these zombies could come and get us and we'll place some torches down in here like that one right there i'm gonna mine this really quickly because uh i always mine this stuff it's so useful and oh that we did we get a eh, never mind um so let's do this boop and let's mine that one there you go so wow are we really that low i didn't i thought we were only two blocks down i guess we're like two and some change so essentially how i wanted this to work was hmm, now i don't know if this is gonna work uh no it should work all right so let's mine this out a little bit i don't think i've ever really, really showed redstone i i never like i ha i don't know that much about redstone but i do know how to use it like uh, there's some people that like don't really know how to use it at all i i do have above basic knowledge of redstone. I, I used to play with it a lot on um, on one of my old old servers, and I I've just kind of been basing it off that knowledge ever since. So uh, what we're gonna do here is create two inverters. I did not make any redstone torches, but that shouldn't be a big deal. I could just do that like that, and let's get rid of this. We don't need that right now, and we don't need that right now. So let's grab that again. Let's grab that, or well, that's actually two redstone. Yeah, we we need to create two inverters. So that is going to go like that, and essentially what that does is it makes it on. Um, we have to actually move these back one. That'll make the signal always on, and I'll show you exactly what I'm trying to do. You'll you'll get it in a second. And this is Redstone Tutorials with you said, probably the most unqualified person in the world to be making them, but that's okay. So what we're going to do is put that there, and that there. Uh, actually, they don't need to be on, do they? It doesn't really matter, does it? Um, they actually shouldn't be on. <laughs> yeah, they, they, there's no reason for these to be on. Oh, well, it's fine. Um, so let's grab this and I'm going to want to place this. I need some blocks. Let's grab this cobblestone and place that up there. And I'm going to need to place that there because I don't want those two connecting yet. And we'll place that there. Boop, boop, boop. And this can, uh, is this right? Yeah, right? So let me place the cobblestone there. And essentially what this is going to do is it'll create a little pathway up to the ceiling. So I don't obviously have enough pistons to show you, but I give you a decent idea, I think. So we'll, we'll make that. We'll make that. And uh, yeah, hopefully that should work. So we have to connect these two redstone things. There. You know, let's put that there. Boop, boop, boop. And oh, I didn't get that one. Whoops. Oh, there's more. Look, I missed some. Haha. -ha. So, I, yeah, I, I kind of really miss... I used to hate the uh, magnetization. Kind of really missing it because we're not picking stuff up. And I kind of forgot, I guess, how uh, how annoying it is to pick stuff up sometimes. So, essentially, the design I had in mind was uh, something like this. And I imagine there's got to be a better one. I'm going to have to explore some better ones, I think. Really? Oh, I'm an idiot. That obviously didn't work. Uh... Yeah, we're going to have to do this. Uh, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to have to go like this. That should work. And then we go over this way. I could just make one of those uh, little divider blocks, but I don't I don't feel like doing that right now. So we'll put that all over there. Do, 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 do. As I proclaim about knowing how to use redstone, I don't use redstone, right? So essentially, this is the way it's going to work. We're going to have a little switch down here and... um. Actually, I'm, I'm thinking about two different designs. I'm not entirely sure which one will work better. I, I don't know. One's a lot more complicated. This one's a, really simple. So essentially, we'll have a little area, like maybe towards the side, and uh, we could essentially have pistons on either side. So we could have two on the side, two on the side. And once you flip the switch, it will create this little staircase, as you'd see. And then you could jump... Oh, whoops. Okay, let's turn this off. So you could jump up on the stairs, and you could lead the animal behind you and get them to travel back up into the exhibit. So then we'd be in the exhibit right now. And then uh, once you close it, it would uh, you would have two more redstones up there actually push that one shut as well. So that's one way of working it. And the way I would kind of do it is probably through water. So uh, like water... Uh, would it flow down? We could have a block blocking the water from flowing down, but essentially that's kind of the idea I have. And then you would have like a little staircase up, and it would be, it would be hidden because you would have two more redstones pushed out there. 
so or two more pistons um so this is kind of the design i have for the pig side um as far as the other side goes i think the best way to do that as far as the actual spinosaurus and tyrannosaurus exhibit i think i'm gonna have to do a push system so i think i would have to do something closer uh to uh how am i gonna set this up uh i could just put these right here i guess so we'll have redstone like or we'll have pistons like that we'll connect them that way that's actually not gonna work we have to push this back one and essentially what we will try and do here is we'll put those all there and that's also do not going to work uh does that work no we need repeaters for this i don't have repeaters and i don't Frankly, I don't feel like making repeaters either, so we could just do this. We could get over get Lex Sail, and uh, we'll place it over there, and then over there. And this is the alternative method that makes a lot more sense, but I think it's going to be a lot more expensive. I actually want to make it, and I, I know I was, just started talking really fast, but that's okay. So essentially, what oh whoops. So essentially, what this other method would be is you place down this lever here, and it just pushes you up. So, I, I, uh, yeah. I'm not entirely sure how that one works. I would have to have a piston under a piston, I think. So, I think I would have to have, I think I would, I would need three to do that. So, let's, let me show you this. I'm going to go into creative to set this up. Uh, slash game mode one. This is actually kind of completely unrelated to Jurassic World, but it's okay. And, uh, yes, I'm going to creative because I'm being a cheater. A little dirty cheater. Um... So essentially how this would work is you would have another one down here, if I could place this properly, and I need a redstone torch. So you would have another guy down there, and that would push up, well this would actually push up the other one. So it would go there, and then you would have a redstone signal turn it on, and then it'd push it up, but then as this one got pushed up, there'd be another redstone signal right here let's say and it would make this one go up and then you would kind of have maybe even one more and it would have everybody just get pushed up once so then and then when you turn it off this one would go off then this one could go off and let's say we had yeah let's let's put another one on here so let's oh whoops so let's say we had a, a triple because i think that's what we would actually need here and then once it gets all the way up here it would have a third redstone signal uh, we don't want that yet though so the way this would work is you would have this go on that would push that one up then you would have th uh whoops no uh i need another block wait no that should work does that not work am i missing something oh because that one's extended why is that one extended oh because these blocks are connected wait why is that one extended that and then you would have that one go up and then you'd have that one go up. So essentially this is all interdependent on this actually working and this won't recall them as long as they're powered. So it would be kind of like this, oh crap, I screwed that up. Um, so I'll just place this one back down. So essentially what I'm trying to get at is it would be like this. So let's say we have a little platform right here. You stand on the platform, you flip a switch. So one, the first redstone or the first ones go off, uh, so here, I'll, I'll here. Let me place a block on it. That that's probably the best way I could show you it. So this will be the block. That's the platform you're standing on. Oh, damn it! I keep doing that. That's the platform you're standing on, and you could place that block on there. And essentially, how that would work is that would go, then that would go, then that would go. So now this is the block you're standing on, and you're all the way up here. And this then we'll have the dinosaurs come off. We'll have like a, maybe a little a little platform, like four by four. And obviously, we'd have to create some kind of system where it would pull down and open up that. And yeah, I think that that would that would work actually kind of nicely. I think. But I, as I was saying before, I think that's way too much to try and do in this episode. I think unfortunately we're gonna have to stick to this other herbivore exhibit here as I, I really don't think we're going to be able to bang out all of that in a, a singular episode, unfortunately. So uh, we're going to have to move on from that. And uh, yeah, but that was a lot of concept discussion and all that, guys. So as always, I thank you all for watching. I do hope you enjoyed today's episode. And uh, well, frankly, I hope to see you all next time where I'm actually going to start building this. So yeah.